Hello, my name is Supreme Patel, and I'm from Seaford, Delaware. Um, I go to Sussex Technical High School, and I'm currently a junior there. Um, the title of my experiment this year was Over the Counter and In Your Water, the Most Effective Filtration of Pharmaceuticals. And the reason I actually focused on this topic was because I was reading the newspaper one day, and I came across a whole list of pharmaceuticals that were contaminating not only Seaford's water supply, but also all across Delaware. So my research was focused on filtering these pharmaceuticals from our water supply. The two main pharmaceuticals that I focused on were acetaminophen and ibuprofen. These are two common over-the-counter pain relievers, and they're basically very commonly used, so that's why I focused on them. And I actually found that these two were found in Delaware's water supply. So the types of filtration that I tested included water distillation, which is pictured here, activated carbon filtration from pure, which attaches directly to the faucet, um, carbon block filtration, and finally ion exchange filtration. And so these are all very um, effective methods of filtration. However, the one method that did not filter as well was the carbon block filter, which only removed 4% and 1.44% of ibuprofen and acetaminophen. All three of the other methods were able to remove 99% or greater of both these pharmaceuticals. So I believe that these are all very cost-effective methods of filtration, and they can actually be used um, at, in the home and actually in water filtration plants all across the country. And the reason I focused on this was because I actually did research and I found there were over 51 million Americans that are drinking this contaminated water, even though it might be trace concentrations, and there's over 271 million pounds of these pharmaceuticals in our water. And actually, the EPA does not regulate the pharmaceuticals. Activated water. carbon filtration, which is here, pictured here for the pure loss amount filter, it's very effective because it uses carbon. And carbon is positively charged, so all the negative particles in the water are attracted to it. Now, many filtration plants across the country do not use this right now. They actually use other methods of filtration. And this is very effective, and it's relatively new technology. And Carbon has a very high surface area. For example, one pound has 125 acres worth of surface area. So that's why it can attract all these different pharmaceuticals and many different compounds that are in the water, such as iron and anything else that's in the water.